Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will determine geometric means. Let us begin by its definition. The terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence are known as geometric means. In the example 2, 6, 18, 54, and 162, 6, 18, and 54 are the three geometric means between 2 and 162. To solve for geometric means, our first step is to solve for the common ratio. Example number 1. Let us insert three geometric means between 3 and 768. The geometric sequence appears to be like this. There are three missing terms between 3 and 768. Let us determine all the given values. A sub 1 is equal to 3. A sub 5 is equal to 768. And the value of n is equal to 5. Let us solve for the common ratio. We will be using this formula in solving for the common ratio. Let us substitute all the given values to this formula. a sub n becomes a sub 5 and a sub 5 is equal to 768. a sub 1 is equal to 3. r raised to n minus 1 or 5 minus 1. Let us simplify. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. We need to isolate r raised to 4 to one side by dividing both sides by 3. 768 divided by 3 is equal to 256. 3R raised to 4 divided by 3 is equal to R raised to 4. To solve for R, we need to extract the root. Fourth root of 256 is equal to positive and negative 4. Fourth root of R raised to 4 is equal to R. There are two values of R. We have positive and negative 4. We have two geometric sequences since we have two values of r. If r is equal to 4, a sub 2 is equal to 3 times 4. 3 is the first term, 4 is the common ratio. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. a sub 3 is equal to 12 times 4. 12 times 4 is equal to 48. a sub 4 is equal to 48 times 4. 48 times 4 is equal to 192. If r is equal to 4, the three geometric means between 3 and 768 are 12, 48, and 192. If r is equal to negative 4, a sub 2 is equal to 3 times negative 4, and it is equal to negative 12. a sub 3 is equal to negative 12 times negative 4, and it is equal to positive 48. A sub 4 is equal to 48 times negative 4, and it is equal to negative 192. If r is equal to negative 4, the three geometric means between 3 and 768 are negative 12, 48, and negative 192. Example number 2. Let us insert two geometric means between 18 and 2 thirds. The geometric sequence appears to be like this. 18, 2 missing term, and the last term is 2 thirds. Let us determine all the given values. a sub 1 is equal to 18, a sub 4 is equal to 2 thirds, n is equal to 4. Let us solve for the common ratio using the formula, and let us substitute all the given values. A sub n becomes a sub 4, and a sub 4 is equal to 2 thirds. a sub 1 is equal to 18. r raised to 4 minus 1. Let us simplify. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. To isolate r cube, we need to divide both sides by 18. 2 thirds divided by 18 or 18 over 1, we have 2 times 1 is equal to 2, 3 times 18 is equal to 54, so the answer is 2 over 54. In lowest term, it is equal to 
1 over 27. And 18 R cubed divided by 18 is equal to R cubed. And to solve for R, we need to extract the root. Cube root of 1 over 27 is equal to 1 over 3 or 1 third. Cube root of R cubed is equal to R. And the value of R is equal to 1 third. After solving for the value of R, let us determine the two geometric means. To determine the second term, we need to multiply the first term and the common ratio. 18 times 1 third is equal to 18 thirds. 18 thirds or 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. To determine the third term, we need to multiply 6 and 1 third. 6 times 1 third is equal to 6 thirds. And 6 thirds or 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. The two geometric means between 18 and 2 thirds are 6 and 2. Last example, example number 3. Let us insert one geometric mean between 2 and 50. In this example, a sub 1 is equal to 2, a sub 3 is equal to 50, n is equal to 3. Since there is only one missing term between two terms, it is also known as mean proportional. And to solve for mean proportional, all we have to do is to multiply the two given terms and extract the root. In symbol, a sub 2 is equal to square root of a sub 1 times a sub 3. Let us substitute all the given values. a sub 2 is equal to square root of a sub 1 is equal to 2, a sub 3 is equal to 50. 2 times 50 is equal to 100, so we have a sub 2 is equal to square root of 100. And square root of 100 is equal to positive and negative 10. a sub 2 is equal to positive and negative 10. We have two geometric sequences, 2, 10, 50, and 2, negative 10, 50. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.